lecture wherein we would continue learning more on sannyasis. A sannyasi is one who has attained a state of reunification which is disattached from sin and sensual gratifications and perceives God everywhere while doing good to the people of the world through this dissemination and of true knowledge and advancement of true religion. From student life to sanny, sannyas entrance. One has the right to enter sanya, sannyas ashram directly from student life, which is bra, Brahmacharya. However, however, one who can control his passions should go through the sequential stages of Rihashta Ashram and Vantrashta Ashram before entrance to Sanyas Ashram in the older age. The, the Braj Mahacharya who has realized the evils of sensual gratification and benefits of pres preserving vital energy elements which is also known as the fuels of, for wisdom and restrained senses should be able to enter sannyas directly from Brahmachya Brahmachya I, I can't say it Brahmachya However, this is definite that only the fit ones are entitled to be a sannyasi. If an unfit person was to enter the sannyas, he would sink himself and drag others down with him. Recap of duties of orders, which is ashram. Student life. This first stage life is meant for acquisition of knowledge and morality, perfecting physical power. Married life is the second stage, and this second stage of life is for pursuit of useful occupation and prof professions. The third stage is retired life, and this is when it is for meditation, performing penances, and perfection character, and, and acquisition of divine knowledge. This final sannyas life is meant for disseminating Vedic knowledge, practice, work, and this is the last stage. Practice virtues and re-announce vices, reach gospel of truth and righteousness, dispel doubts and ignorances of people. Those who don't discharge these very, very important duties of sannyas are the most degraded wretches to deserving to go to hell. Therefore, its benefits sannyasis devote um, themselves additionally to the preaching of truth and enlightenment the minds of the people who are in doubt. To study the Vedas and the propagation of the Vedic knowledge thereby. Promote the physical, social, mental, and spiritual of the spiritual good of the whole world. Ranking of sadhus, vergis, dasins, and with sannyas. They can be ra ranked in the same order as sannyasis, because, and this is because, follow anti Vedic anti creeds and advocate the cause of their sex more than the Vedas. Sing the praises of their own creed are involved in false practices. Further, their selfish ends and trap others into their respective creeds and cults. Instead of doing any good to the world, they mislead people and bring out their fall and accomplish their own selfish ends. They therefore have no right to be ranked in the order of sannyasi, but on the other hand, they can justify be entitled the order of selfish creatures. And this is everyone as a sannyasi. They are alone. They alone are true sannyasis and great souls who walk in the path of righteousness and help others to the same promote their own happiness as well as that of the whole world, here and beyond. 
and this brings the end of chapter 5. Next week, we will be start on chapter 6 and study the duties of state government and citizens. Thank you.